today we're gonna do a bit of a fitness vlog. We're here for the launch of the new Nike React Infinity. And since you guys have been missing this fella, he's here. What's up? Glad to be here. Uh, so we love these shoes. Yeah, we love the React. We know that uh, the Infinity is one up on the React. So excited to check it out. Let's go. is a shoe that uh, helps running injury reduction and therefore helps uh, you know one's running performance. It's going to be a quick experience of uh, learning about the shoe, trialing the shoe and then coming back and again congregating here to chat about that experience. We actually went out to Google and said what do runners actually search for on Google and the first thing that came up was injuries. We kind of changed the tech a little bit from the earlier reacts. So if I may use the footwear, I may just show it to you. Uh, we've all sat on rocking chairs back in our day, right? We took the inspiration from that and we said, okay, let's make it a rocket geometry so that it, it kind of gives you a smooth transition. If you can actually see the way there's a extra angle or a rocker motion that's actually given to this. And how this aids is, I'm just trying to put equal pressure on both the foot, the toe off, on the React Infinity is a little bit more high, which means your toe off is that much more smooth and you actually go to your next try at a slightly higher angle. So we've got the new shoes on and we're going for a trial 2K run. Yep. And you have nothing to say? I'm going to be faster than you. Why? It's a trial run. It's not a race. Okay, so we finished our 2.5k run. First impressions? Love, love the shoe. Uh, it has a really interesting sole. It's almost like a rocking motion as you're running. And uh, it's just, you're just gliding. Like you don't feel like the run is very effortless. Effortless, yeah, sure. And also I felt uh, uh, the stride is more solid and stable yeah. because uh, the shoe holds your it's foot. It's wider than the earlier Yeah, one. and yeah. it holds your foot really well. And uh, actually, like I felt like I just flew through it. So it was really effortless. Okay, so second day in the shoes, what we're going to do now is this is going to be a bit of a running vlog where Webber and I are going to try the shoes for two weeks and tell you what we think. Yeah, shoes feel great, very stable and bouncy. So I'm going to do my second run in the Infinity Reacts. It's going to be a short run because uh, this is my workout finisher. Let's go. So warm up is done. Now it's time for some speed drills. <laughs> what are those? You'll see. So first, you're going to be chasing me. I've been chasing you for a while. <laughs> yes, we're going to be chasing you. So now we're married. I, 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 I don't I need to chase you. I will go ahead and then you will chase me.
Okay, so that was the end of today's workout, and uh, we've spent two weeks yeah. with the Infinity Reacts now. Two weeks of running. So, what's been the highlight? Uh, I think for me, definitely that rocking motion that we spoke of in the first go. Like it just gets better and better as you get more used to it, it and gives you a bounce. Yeah, it gives you a bounce, and it just like it's just you're you're gliding. Like you feel very, it's a smooth run. It's effortless. Yeah. Uh, for me, I think uh, what stood out is that uh, the shoe feels very stable uh, because of the wider base. Yeah. So when you get tired towards the end of your run, like I, I, my feet tend to sort of wobble a bit, you know, yeah. when you yeah. when you land. But with this, because of the wider base, it was much more stable and uh, felt stronger. And now we are going to give you guys some running tips. Rebel, are you ready? What is your first running tip uh, for Abhi? First off. Uh, always do a warm up. Yeah. Uh, because you will avoid a ton of injuries. That's true. Um, I would say listen to your body and pace yourself with running. Because anybody can run, and there, if you're competing with yourself most of the time, I mean, of course, today we were competing with each other. But when you're running, like doing distance running, is all about yeah. listening to your body and going at a pace that you're comfortable with. Also, this is. Uh, Probably a minor one, but uh, one should always breathe through their nose. Yeah, no? I mean you should try to. Yeah. I breathe through my mouth, but that actually tires you more. Tires you more, then you get dehydrated more, yeah. and because of pollution, actually, if you breathe through your nose, the pollution yeah. doesn't go in that much because of the nose hair. <laughs> my next tip would be ice your knees. That's something I learned from you. Which actually really helps after a long run. Like when you do a three, yeah. four kilometer run or anything above that, I would say come back and ice your knees with ice packs, and that uh, again will prevent an injury and, and also your recovery knees. is yeah. very important. It's faster, especially when you you run on hard surfaces. Yeah. The last one would be uh, to find softer surfaces to run on. I know we most of us live in cities and it's tough, but uh, like do do the. Uh, do a garden yeah. or find a ground. If not, uh, I think it's better to run on the it's road. It's better to run on the road. So for longer distances, I was gonna say the garden doesn't work. Like yeah, this yeah, gets yeah, really yeah. monotonous yeah, when you yeah, keep going round yeah. and round. Uh, but the road is always better than concrete. So and not I the mean, pavement. Not the pavement because the pavements are generally concrete. Yeah. So avoid the pavement. Run on the actual road. Done. So this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed running with us and also watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also comment below with any more running related questions you have about the shoes or about running and we will get back to you. See you guys.